When the mechanical installation of the rack, of the mechanical end limits, and of course of the gate opener is correctly done, the first, um, the main um, issue is the, to power the gate opener. This gate opener is um, intended to work by battery, backup battery, recharged by solar panel. So, before starting your test, you have to wire uh, a 12 volt lead acid battery that must be fully charged. Uh, if a battery has not the correct tension, it will not let work the gate opener correctly. So when the, without um, load, the battery should show um, a value of voltage around at least 12.4, uh, let's say, up to 13.2 uh, when it's fully charged. For sure, when you start the motor, the, um, the tension will draw down a little, little bit, but should not, never go under 12 volts. Or let's say 11.8 uh, is also tolerable, but not lower values. Otherwise, the electronics will not have the correct power to work correctly. Um, the gate opener 743 Solar has the main board that is called CTH43 and the recharge of the, of the battery is done by this battery charger which is called uh, CMBAT display because you have a display where you can check the tension of the battery. Wirings, uh, you can wire from these two connectors. Must, mu you must be sure to respect the correct polarity, check it on the manual, but as you can see this is plus. So the brown cable in our case is plus, must go to the, um, the plus on the battery charger. The minus, in this case, is the light blue cable goes into the negative of the battery. Then from the battery charger, you take two wires from the plus, you go to the positive. From the minus, you go to the negative of the battery. In, uh, in this simulation, we are not uh, showing you uh, the solar panel because we are inside the building, but uh, your solar panel will be connected. The positive goes into this first, first connector and the negative from the solar panel goes into this second connector. When the solar panel is uh, wired correctly, you will see an icon of the solar panel here. Here you have the battery charge status indi um, indication, but um, what you have to check is this value, 12.7. Now our gate opener is powered. You can see that it has the red, the green, sorry, LID on. What we will do, it, we will place uh, the gates halfway between the, the two magnets. One magnet is here, the second magnet is there. We will lock the gate opener by simply closing the, the, the locking system. Now, um, the remote controls you have, they should be already have been memorized in the gate opener. I will show you now how to do it if they're not.